Welcome back to the Network Essentials series. Today, let's talk about the Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol, also known as VRRP. It's one of the main services of our device's software, Root OS. The main function of VRRP is creating a highly available virtual router using two or more physical routers. A virtual router is a software-based routing framework that allows the host router to perform as a typical hardware router over a local area network. Host devices are configured to use the virtual router as their default gateway. High availability infrastructure is configured to deliver quality performance and handle different loads and failures with zero or minimal downtime. To successfully implement VRRP functionality, you'll need two VRRP capable routers. Optionally, you can also use a switch to simplify network management by connecting all devices. Both of these routers advertise the same virtual gateway IP address to your host device. While in general networking this may seem wrong, VRRP uses unique IDs to differentiate between these routers. Each router broadcasts its VRRP advertisement, which includes a priority value. The router with the highest priority value becomes the primary router responsible for routing network traffic. Routers periodically broadcast VRRP advertisements containing their priority. These broadcasts are typically sent to a multicast group on the local subnet. Multicast is a type of group communication where data transmission is addressed to a group of destination devices simultaneously. Subnet is a segmented piece of a larger network, dividing an IP network into multiple smaller network segments. Other VRRP routers listen for these advertisements to determine the current primary router. The backup router with the lower priority remains in a standby state, ready to take over if necessary. It doesn't entirely disappear from the network, it just doesn't respond to traffic directed at the virtual gateway IP address. Moreover, if the primary router fails and stops sending VRRP advertisements, the backup router detects this absence, recognizes itself as having the highest priority, and takes over as the new primary router. This way, it ensures uninterrupted connectivity in case the primary router fails. Ideally, network devices won't notice the switch over to the backup router. They'll continue using the virtual gateway IP address for internet access and other network communication. When the primary router recovers and rejoins the network, it starts sending VRRP advertisements again. The backup router recognizes the higher priority value and gracefully returns to standby mode. Essentially, VRRP offers a robust Robust and scalable solution for ensuring network redundancy and minimizing downtime during router failures. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn about more interesting topics, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video.